Hello everybody and today we're going to talk about book covers. We're going to go through some shit. I was trying to actually go over some of your book covers but I couldn't find them and so here we are and I wanted to get this done today. I didn't want to put it off. So we're going to just go through some shit. I'm going to do some talking here. Okay so as you can see here this is in what is this called? General humorous fiction. Now I want you to look at these covers right here. This is from a book series called The Housewife Assassins. Guide to Gracious Killing, Killer Christmas Tips, Relationship Survival Guide, um, Vacation to Die For. So what we have in these images. And I don't even think these covers are very good. But these covers fit the theme of who they're marketing here so in all these covers we have fancy ladies okay and in each one they're holding like a weapon of some kind the the one over here the vacation one i actually don't even know if you could see that one let me look okay so anyway so you have a common look the other thing about this type of genre is that if you look at all the books in this genre, they will all kind of look like this. Notice the font. It's a really thin, um, like Josie Brown. And if you notice, there's a drop shadow on the font to make it kind of pop off the page. If you look up at the top where it says like the housewife's assassin, this looks like shit. And you can almost not even read what the fuck the... Um, what the book is called. These covers are kind of garbage, but they play to the type of person picking this up. So let's look at some more here. Oh, we have more housewife assassin books. Plenty to choose from here. And they all look about the same. Oh my God, this chick just writes a thousand books a day. Is there any other books that are not by that chick? No. Okay, so we will move on. Obviously, classics can look however the fuck they want. But you know what they have done here? If you look, there's a constant theme as far as what the books look like. Like the circle picture, the line through it, different color, um, the title on a white background to make it very easy to look at. Um, and then this last witness book, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Not really. Okay. Let me see if I go like that. Oh, and now it's gone. Okay. We'll come back to that. So check this out. These books an alien invasion, science fiction eBooks. If you notice these books have the exact same cover. And the only reason why I would say to do this is a, if you spend a lot of money on a cover, and B, if the cover is doing really well for you, if you're selling a ton of books. Now, considering only uh, anywhere from like one to 3% of people who actually read books leave comments and reviews for them, this book here, um, wh where's book one? Do we have book one here? Um, book seven book eight jesus christ i don't see book one anywhere whatever um book two has 199 so that's a pretty good guess but if you notice the only thing that's different is like book one or book two here guardian that's different and then down here in red it says book two just to make sure you're not getting fucking screwed here so this is a good strategy only if you have a book cover that's kicking ass that everybody loves in the genre you're writing for. Again, look at the font. The font is very sci-fi, okay? Notice, too, that there is nothing underneath the name of the author. It's just black. Up top, where the title is, it's solid color. So the title pops. 
you know exactly what the title of this book is. Okay. Now these ones down here, these kind of, I'm assuming these first two, Resting Scrooge Face and the Season for Revenge. I'm assuming these are like kind of either cozy romance or cozy whatever, because that's what these books look like. The fonts, the cursive, all this shit. Obviously, Resting Scrooge Face looks a hell of a lot better than Tis the Season for Revenge. Like, you should have kept this less cluttered, I would say. And the name of the author you can't even fucking read. So, that's not great. Now, here we go. These are original Amazon books. And you can tell that these are Amazon books because they're doing the things they're supposed to be doing. You can read every fucking bit of information on these book covers. Okay? Here's what you need to do. You need to have clear lettering so people can see the name of your book in a thumbnail. There also has to be some imagery on there that will tell people exactly what kind of book it is. Okay? Whether it's a silhouette of a man running. that That's like a thriller, uh, espionage, something like that. A haunted house looking thing. That's a horror book or a ghost story. A heart or a ring or people holding hands. That's a romance. Um, a dude with his shirt off. That's erotica. Like, there, there are little things that will tell people what kind of book it is. And there are certain fonts that tell people what kind of book it is. Okay, so look at what your favorite fonts are in the books that you think inspired your book and use those fonts. And if you don't know how to do it, like type in like um, Star Wars font, you know, and you can download a font that looks like the Star Wars font. Whatever you can think of, you can put that in there. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if this was helpful. This isn't exactly what I wanted to do, but this is what came out. So, hopefully, this is helpful for you. If you like this stuff, somewhere around here in a minute, there's going to be a bunch of writing tip videos. If you want weekly workshops with me, giving you lessons and going over stuff with you, join the Anarchy Crew. You could. There will be a link in the description below on how to do that. Um... And yeah, the Anarchy Crew has daily writing prompts, a Discord, discounts on my merchandise, weekly live streams, prod monthly projects. There's tons of shit that you can do jumping in the Anarchy Crew. So until next time, everybody, keep buying my books, type hard, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.